Hello, my friends on YouTube. I'm Todd Macon. Thank you for clicking in. And today I want to discuss what was probably the most powerful experience I've had with photography yet. And it was a portraiture session that I had with a friend of mine who just put up an incredibly courageous fight and is surviving pancreatic cancer. It's been a tough year on him and he agreed to let me photograph him. When I first asked to photograph him, all I really wanted to do was uh, capture, he's a very striking man. And when I asked him to think about a story to tell, the cancer obviously came up and he wanted to embrace that story, which he did. And it was a privilege and a revelation for me to be a part of that. And what I've learned from that photo shoot and from Corey is why portraiture and photography matter. So what I'd like to do today is discuss the things I've learned from this shoot. Also as a way to honor Corey and what he gave me and his wife Lynn as the gift of that time together. Probably the first thing that I've learned and I've heard it often, but it's one thing to experience, is that there needs to be a good story. And it's hard to say because it's not so much a good story as it is a meaningful story. And we all have them. It's just how do we share them and how much do we want to share it and how do we want to share it. And there is an articulation of our stories through images. And it's a different way of going about that. In this case, one of the parts of Corey's story was, uh, and, and they approached me with this, they asked me, could we maybe take photos of him with his shirt off? And for a variety of reasons, and in some ways it was also to show the scars. And then I realized in doing so, it's not just the image, it was the intent. And I believe what came out of those parts of the photo shoot, the images that came out, were really showing Corey's determination and his courage and, and really that he's proud of what he's done and been able to accomplish in this battle. And um, to be able to demonstrate that um, not only to himself, but to anyone who sees these photos, is an incredible testament. And that's the power of story. Um, because we all learn from that, and we all take something from that. It's a gift. The other side of that story is, is trust and empathy, and really what, in terms of process, becomes collaboration. Unlike some other portraits I've taken, and, and some really nice ones, and, and enjoyable ones was that I felt like I was in control and positioning and what felt really I think to me most powerful well I can't say that because Corey's story itself was probably the most powerful but what was powerful as well was the fact that I felt that I was along for the ride on this one and that my presence, and I'll get to that in a little bit, um, was just part of this partnership in the moment. And that's definitely something to strive for when you're taking somebody's portrait. And then the third lesson I learned was that being in that moment, I was in his presence. And that in so doing, I had to be fully present. So that there was, for lack of a better term, a zen to the activity of taking this series of portraits and, and working with Corey. You, I think you know you're in a successful portraiture session when you feel that, that sense of presence and being present. And that's something I'm going to really aim to strive for in setting up the portraiture sessions so that the um, 
environment is right for that. And then lastly, this is, uh, this is probably the most difficult one to discuss, but it is the fear of being exploitive or that there's some exploitation or voyeurism in the portraiture and in the process. And I, I did not feel that in this case with Corey and his wife, Lynn. I think I had their full permission and their trust. But there's something important in that fear, and I think that's a healthy fear to have because it allows you to do the right thing by the portrait, which is basically to empower not only the subject, but also yourself and the audience that's going to see these images. And you have to keep that in mind, that there is a greater goal here to taking such powerful and difficult portraits. They're humanizing. And that's the goal. That's the art of this. And that's what art does, I think, in the end for all of us. There's a, there's a Nietzsche quote I have on my website, which is, art is the proper task of life. And taking these photos of Corey and being present in his story felt like a proper task. And I'm proud of that. And I'm honored to have had Corey allow me to do my best to capture his story and, and to share it. So, you know, in conclusion, I first of all, I want to thank Corey and Lynn for their time and for the lessons that they taught me and um, for the opportunity to learn and create what I think are beautiful, empowering images. Thank you very much. I'm Todd Macon. We'll see you next time.